All right. Hello, my name is Vincent Baker. I'm very happy to have you here. And today I will be discussing War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. I believe that's the correct order. I have dyslexia, so I'm prone to switching up the orders and that's a lot of words for a title of a game. Anyways, if you're wondering what that intro was, that was me holding up my picture or my poster of Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions, which is my favorite game of all time. It is wonderful. The story is amazing. I still love the graphics. The music is phenomenal. The customization, the characters, everything about it is top notch. So this video is about my first impressions of War of the Visions. And the reason why I'm comparing the two is because a lot of people are. It's been 25 years since anything like this has came out like in this Final Fantasy genre. Of course we had Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and Advance 2, but which were for the Game Boy Advance, but as you may know, uh, those didn't quite live up to the same standard. They became more child-friendly in a lot of ways. The story wasn't taken as seriously. The graphics were more cartoony. And they had a really terrible judge system in which if you use the wrong things at the wrong time, even if you're trying to save the entire world, this judge would come up to you on a chocobo and take your characters to jail. A very weird thing <laughs> to have added. So you'd have to collect cards and try to uh, go up against that. But if you show up to battle as a knight and you have a sword and if you use it during certain battles, you get arrested, which I thought was pretty stupid. But anyways, we're not here to talk about those games. We're here talk about War of the Visions. So War of the Visions is a mobile game, unfortunately, <laughs> um, because by its very nature of being a mobile game, you can just kind of smell, you can, you can just gather the sense of like, you're going to be like preyed upon for your, for your money. <laughs> and uh, so I put in two hours into this game. So it's definitely a first impressions. I will say the characters are pretty cool so far. I like the characters. The mechanics are very similar. They have bravery. They have the moving on the tiles. They have vertical. They have range. Uh, or verticality, I should say. There, there's cool special abilities. There's different job abilities. And it seems like you can uh, kind of mix and match some of that. Um, so a lot of the core mechanics are there. And it seems like there's some updates to it that aren't necessarily bad. However, there is a lot of like shards and gems and this and that and and I don't play a lot of mobile games. So if you were ignoring this because you don't play a lot of mobile games, I'm right there with you. I don't particularly like a lot of mobile games. I've only played I think one mobile game for a month and that's as most as I could get into it. And it's just not usually my thing, but this one I definitely want to keep playing. I hope that I can continue playing and not have it be too much to my detriment that I am not paying to win, so to speak. Um, if I can continue doing that, then this game could score very high, highly for me. Um, I don't quite know the inner workings of the game, so I can't give it a review. This is just an impression. Uh, I'm going to say definitely give this game a try. If you, assuming you have a mobile phone, you should give this game a try. I believe it's for the iOS and the Android. It just dropped today of the of me recording this video. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics or you ever wanted to give a game like that a try, I definitely recommend it. This game has some interesting options. It kind of gives you some more abilities right out the gate. So in Final Fantasy Tactics, for example, you have this ability to throw stones, which is a very weak ability. And that's a squire ability because it's one of the basics or the fundamentals that your characters can have. In this game, your main character also gets that, but they also have something called like 
divine cross or something because they're a lord, which is their job title, which is cooler than squire. And it feels cool that that's your main character. So you're a lord and you get some of these cool abilities mixed in with the more basic abilities. So I really like that idea. I think it's kind of like paying homage to the original Final Fantasy Tactics, but building upon it. So some things I hope to see in the future is I hope we see a lot more monster variety. I hope we get a lot of job class variety. I hope I run into a lot of different characters. And I hope that I can keep playing the game and not be hindered by it. But if you're a huge fan of Final Fantasy, if you love tactics, or if you've been interested in those things, or if you just love like anime mobile games, then please give this game a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you see anything that's terrible that I should watch out for with it. But I'm going to keep playing it, and I think you should give it a try too. Thank you so much, and as always, stay awesome. The video is over, but this was made by Patreons. We really appreciate what you've done for us, and we'd appreciate it if you'd continue following us further at patreon.com slash vindicatedentertainment. Yeah, you guys! <laughs> Be sure to check out some more of our videos, okay? <laughs> Bye! No, no.